So a few days ago, Hamas attacked Israel and then Israel also, you know, retali retaliated. And, you know, obviously the Israelis uh, have a very powerful military force and the U.S. will probably also support the, the Israeli uh, forces. So most likely Palestine is going to be crushed. Like this is not going to be like like a fair fight. I I don't I don't know why they started the fight all over again, but it's going to to really be bad because uh, the prime minister Benjamin Netanyahu promised to crush crush them, and I see a lot of people giving aid to Israel. And what is the Christian thing to do? What, what would the gospel of Christ have us do? For example, I saw one of the, of the Palestinian women, she was crying because now she, has, she doesn't have a home also. There are people in, there are women in Israel and children in Israel who are going to have a hard time, right? They will need assistance, they will need medicine, they will need food, they will need water. But there are also children in Palestine who are going to also need food and water. And there's also women also who are also going to be needing food and water. And as a Christian, what are you supposed to do? Because Jesus, talked about the story of the Good Samaritan. Even you should, you should um, think about the story of the Good Samaritan. Jesus also went to the well and talked to a Samaritan woman and, and, she, and, and he, he ministered to her. And he even stayed with the Samaritans for two days ministering the gospel to them. So as a Christian, I find like some Christians are taking sides. Oh, we're going to support, support Israel. That's not the gospel. That's not the gospel. The gospel is you should minister to both Jews and Palestinians. There are Jews who do not know Jesus. There are Jews who do not know Christ. And that is why there's a lot of war in those two, within those two nations because they don't know the gospel. And, and, and I, have, I have seen, you know, I have seen like videos on YouTube of Jews not wanting Christians in Israel because they do not want to hear the gospel of Christ. And also, you know, Palestinians are Muslim, so they don't know the gospel of Christ. As Christians, we should be able to minister the gospel to both sides and help both sides understand that the gospel of Christ is about the heart. The gospel of Christ is about us looking into our heart and choosing the ways of righteousness and holy. If we can turn these two groups into Christians, nothing like we would have a lot of peace in that area you know if those if those two converted to the true gospel of christ which is the heart thou shalt not steal thou shalt not murder things like that like the heart of jesus it would help i know some of you are like oh, you are you are too much <laughs> you're too much this is wishful thinking now this is true gospel. This is the full gospel of, of, of Jesus that heals our hearts. And, you know, if you're going to help feed people, feed both, both sides, right? Feed both sides, 
their children who are going to be in need of medical care. I can't believe that you would let a Palestinian kiddo starve because they have a different religion. That, that, that immediately sends like something in my, in, my, in my tummy, you know. You wouldn't let a child starve just because, because, because of anything. Right. As a Christian, you know, it, it doesn't even it, it doesn't it, it doesn't go well with you, even in your heart, even in your psyche. It, it just doesn't feel right. A, a child is a child, you know, whether they're in Israel, or whether they're in Palestine, a child is a child. And as Christians, we, we shouldn't forget the gospel is in the heart, the gospel should be written in our heart and in our minds and in our mouth and this is a perfect time to tell people on both sides to repent to invite christ into their lives and and uh, probably we can see more peace in that area more kindness and you know the best thing we can pray is for both sides you know to soften their heart to invite god and, you know, if, if there will be hardening of hearts on both sides, like every heart is hardened and they don't want to invite, invite Christ, you know, I think there will, be, there will be distraction. And I think what will happen is what the book of, of um, is, is what the prophecy says, that, that there will be a lot of distraction, that the earth will be level. Uh, the, there's, a, there's a prophecy in the Bible that says that 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 area there is a time that the destruction will be so much that the area will be level, level because of destruction. If there is that hardening of the heart, the hardening of the heart is is dangerous because because when when you when when we harden our hearts then you don't see people, you don't see humanity, you see skin color, you just see religion, you see the differences, you just see different things. And I think, I don't know how far away we are, you know, if we are at the end of the age, it means that people will harden their hearts. People will not even listen to the gospel. Uh, and um, I, yeah, if they, if people don't listen to the gospel, it means they won't ha they will not have the Holy Spirit of God guiding them. And we know the heart of man is deceitful and wicked. And you know we we don't know how far that will go along. We we just don't know how far that will go along. But I think it's time for Christians to take now the full armor of God. You know to have the full armor of God, the the breastplate of righteousness, and just armor yourself with the word of God. And imagine yourself in these situations of war, and you're thinking about giving donations. What would God want you to do? Does God want you to stab one kid and not the other? What, what would God want you to do? What, what, what feels right in your heart? Do you favor one nation over the other? Do you favor some children and women over others? What would God want you to do? How would Jesus want you to see others and when you're also helping them? Because there are children in Palestine who don't have access to medicine also, who don't have access to food. And if we, if we don't show them that we are Christians, that we are born of the spirit of holiness, that Jesus came for them so that they may also have life and also have eternity with him. What, are we, what kind of example are we going to set to the rest of the world during these, these times of, of tribulations as we go towards the end uh, of, the, of the age? If Christ was come today, and, and the rapture was going to happen today, what would your actions tell Christ? How would he search your heart, you know, according to how you help others, you know? Uh, how would he look at your heart? I, it's just the thoughts, you know, that I'm putting out there uh, for Christians and, you know, what we think that this time has for us, what kind of example we want to set because 
we are still the light and the salt of this world and when the salt loses its flavor it needs to be thrown away um, yeah so just think about it about this war it's not the only war that's going on we still have ukraine and russia going on i if another war comes then we know that we can you know if if another country starts fighting another country it was it would really mean that we will have more than two wars in the world that are major i hope we don't have another war you know i hope that we have peace uh, i hope that people who like christians don't give up on the fact that we can still have peace i don't know if we can afford another war just thinking about the planet we need to pray i don't think we can afford to have another war going on in the planet it's just going to be terrible we can pray about it we can pray we can help people see that the gospel is in the heart that we need to love each other uh, we, we we are commanded to love one another i feel that the gospel needs to go in all four corners of the world right now it really needs to spread to every four corner so that Christ can come back but the gospel still remains the heart Christ still wants us to be saved in the heart because that's where salvation matters because he's going to search the mind and he's going to search the heart and you know as Christian it's good to remember that we are commanded to love we are commanded to love God and also to love one another and to love people just as God. Every human being is the image of God. That's what I'm trying to say. Every human being on this planet, whether they know God or not, they are still the image of God. And we need to treat them with dignity. As Christians, we need to, teach, to treat every child with dignity and love and respect. You know, whether they are coming from another country, whether they are coming anywhere, this is a commandment and it's in the Bible and if you're a true Christian you know what I mean God searches the heart so you know what I mean you you don't want to be the lukewarm the lukewarm church the book of Revelation talks about the lukewarm church you don't want to be that lukewarm church that is indifferent <laughs> that's not that's not the gospel that's not what Christ is looking for in these last days so it's good to to armor to put on the full armor uh, of the word of God, especially if you're looking to help people who are going to be disadvantaged in the war. I think it's good to pray for guidance from God to see who He wants you to help, and if, you know there'll be women looking to go to other countries to go f find refuge for their children. You know there'll be you know there'll be just there'll be a lot of destruction as you can see who are you going to help are you going to look at them and judge them or are you going to be like the samaritan like or are you going to be like the good samaritan who is going to see god in every human being just think about it my name is manika and if you like this video please like subscribe and share this video i think that you can still set yourself apart from the world in your heart because that's where it matters if you like this video like subscribe and share and until Till next time let us um stay together and and um and just think about what jesus would want us to do so have a good time